Hi friends, today I am here for presenting a technical presentation on KT factor, which is a factor used for sizing the batteries. There were also some other factors which we consider in battery sizing, which are KT factor, temperature coefficient, aging factors, depth of discharge and state of charge. Instead of directly going with the KT factor description, we will go through an example. So now you can see a load profile here. This load profile consists of seven type of periodic loads. And this duration of these loads is 180 minutes, which is three hour time. So now you can see L1. L1 is continuously for 3 hours which is 40 ampere and L2 is 280 ampere. So the instant load at minute 1 is 320 which is 280 plus 40 ampere. So likewise the different loads are been mentioned below. L2 is 280 ampere. L3 is 60 ampere, L4 is 100 ampere and L5 is 80 ampere and L6 is 80 ampere. And another load which you are seeing is L7 which is a random load. This can be occurred at any point of time in this specific period cycle. So here they mentioned as 100 ampere for 1 minute as the random load. So this will be calculated separately and added to the calculated sizing capacity. For sizing the battery, we feed the details in the numerical form in the software. And there are other factors or other parameters considering the calculation, which are aging factor, which is 1.25, design factor 1.10, and the lowest expected temperature, which is 25 degrees C. And the final discharge voltage per cell is 1.75 volt. So the total voltage, minimum voltage of the battery set is 1.50. Now you are seeing IEEE 485 calculation, which is being generated from a manufacturer software. Once we feed the details, such as load, its duration, and the parameters we explained earlier. Today I am not going to describe the whole process of IEEE sizing but here today I am only focusing on the KT factor values which has been highlighted in the sixth column. Now you can see the first period which is A1 to 320 ampere which has been for one minute is been multiplied with the KT factor value 1.40 so you got 447.61 similarly for 29 and 13 minute the kt factor values are 1.66 and 1.67 so for the third period and fourth period the kt factor values are also highlighted here so for 60 minutes it is 2.19 30 minutes is 1.67 120 minute 3.13 and here you can see in the total value of each period it's 523.86 and 620.40 for the fourth period fifth period the maximum time is 179 which is for the kt factor value for 178 minute it is 3.98 and the total value comes as 446.99 and for the sixth one sixth period the maximum capacity is 559.04 the kt factor value for 180 minute is 4.01 so as i said earlier the random load is being calculated separately so it is mentioned as 100 ampere for one minute 
as we discussed the kt factor value for 1 minute is 1.40 so we will get 139 139.88 is the capacity value so here the highlighted portion the yellow portion it is mentioned 620.40 because the maximum section size which is on the fourth cycle is 620.40 plus as we said the random size section size is 139.88 it has been calculated so the total of 620.40 plus 139.88 which is 760.27 so this is the uncorrected size so this uncorrected size has been calculated with temperature correction factor, design margin and aging factor. So that we got the value of capacity as 1003.56 IH. So next high capacity of the battery will be selected. Now the capacity has been calculated. Now we will rearrange the KT factor values in an order with time and value. You can see from the above sizing the value of KT factor for 1 minute is 1.40, 29th minute is 1.66, 30th minute is 1.67, similarly for 60 minute it is 2.19, 120th minute is 3.13 and the third hour 180 minute it is 4.01 once we arrange the kt factor values now we will go for what is kt factor and how it can be derived so what is kt factor kt is the ratio of the rated ambient capacity of the battery which has been recommended by the manufacturer with the ambient that can be supplied by the battery. As per the sizing calculation, we record 1003 h capacity of the battery. And since we cannot find any 1000 h battery, we are going with the next higher capacity, which is 1035. So the model number we prefer is VL2-1035. The normal capacity of the battery, which they mentioned at C10 in N cell voltage 1.80 as 1026H capacity. So we can consider the C normal, the normal capacity of the battery is 1026H. So for the further calculation, we will use 1026 as the normal capacity of the battery. Now to calculate the KT value we need to have the value of AT, the cell of the ambient that can be supplied by that cell for T minute. So this can be derived from the discharge table which the manufacturer provide. So this is the discharge table of that battery at 25 degrees C. So I highlighted the battery model number which is VL2-1035. We need to select the discharge table carefully. Since we are considering the N cell voltage is 1.75, we need to consider the discharge table also as of 1.75. So now we can see the KT factor values. For 120th minute, the KT factor value of the particular cell is 3.13. So now we will check how this can be derived. So you can see that Normal capacity of this battery is 1026 AH. And from the discharge table on 120 minutes, which is the 2 hour, the discharge capability of that battery is 327.6 Ampere. So we need to divide the normal capacity, which is 1026, by 327.6. So you can get the KT factor value as 3.13. So this is the procedure how the KT factor value can be 
achieved or how it can be derived we will also go for another example before going to another example we will check how these kt factor values can be plotted in a graph so now you can see the kt factor chart so the x axis is mentioned as the time and y axis is mentioned as the kt factor values because some of the consultant or end users will ask for the kt factor chart so this is how a kt factor chart will look like so it will be like a line as we said earlier we will go for another example in this case i am going with another model number vl2-270 the normal capacity of this battery is 266 ah so how we can calculate the discharge factor for 1 hour we can take this value from the above chart which is 135 ampere so if you divide 266 ah divided by 135 which is equal to 19 1.97 hr and similarly we can also check the discharge factor for the 15th minute similarly 266 h divided by 247 which is 1.07 so this is how the kt factor is been calculated so i hope you all understood how to calculate the kt factor and its value so if you feel that this is worth for you please subscribe the channel for further videos thank you